G'day, in this video we're going to look at using a 3D Warehouse component to create a scrapbook. So we need to go to the window menu and select the 3D Warehouse. For this tutorial I've just searched for 2D plant symbols and then I'm going to select download and I want to download it directly into my SketchUp model. So it's come in as diff individual components, but initially it comes in as one big component. So I need to right click on that larger component and select explode so that I find the, the individual components. Next, what I want to do is I want to go to the camera menu, turn off perspective, go to the camera menu again, standard views, top or shift and 7. Then I want to click on zoom extents to make it fit my screen. And since I already have a plan view, I'm just going to select update. Right click on that and select update. If you don't have a scene, just go to your scenes dialog and hit the plus button. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to save each component individually. So you right click on it and select save as and you just need to create a folder somewhere. So I'm just going to go 2D plant symbols and then I'm going to open the folder and just save that. So unfortunately you need to do this for each one. Save as, yep, yep. Okay, so you now get the idea, right click on it, save as, and save. So I'm just going to pause the video while I do the rest of them. So I've now gone ahead and saved each individual component to my hard drive. We then need to start layout. So you want to create a new layout drawing and I would recommend creating just a blank sheet. So next what you need to do is you need to go to the file menu, insert, and you need to import your tree. Now it will come in potentially in the wrong location, so the best thing to do would be to right click on the blue bounding box, select edit 3D view, right click in white space and then select zoom extents and that's to ensure that it shows up in the view then what we can do is we can just drag the view and if we want to set a scale so for example let's uh, go 1 to 200 you just need to adjust the blue box to suit Then I would also recommend setting it to hybrid so that you get actual perfect line work. So let's do that again. We go insert, choose the next tree, and it now shows up. Select a scale of 1 to 200. It might disappear, so you just might need to adjust the bounding box until you find your tree and then you just then adjust the bounding box to fit. Okay, and then once we've done that, now we can create a scrapbook once you've gone through and added each and every one of those 2D symbols. So to create a scrapbook, go to the file menu and select save as scrapbook. I'm going to call it 2D plant symbols. And I've already got a 2D plant symbol file, so I'm just going to overwrite that. And then if we were to create a new layout document, and we chose A3 landscape template, for example, you can now click on each of the individual plants and bring them in. The other cool thing is that you can still change the scale as well, and it will adjust for you.
but just be aware that you may want to just play around with the bounding box size so that if it's you maybe want to make it large enough that if you were to select 1 to 100 or maybe maybe even like 1 to 50 that there's enough room within the box for the symbol to change scale so it's at 1 to 50 right now if I choose 1 to 100 it fits if I go 1 to 500 it still fits so just be aware of that um, when you're saving your scrapbook so I would go back to the master file here and again just make sure that that's large enough to be 1 to 50 for example and that will ensure that I could go then to 1 to 200 as well um, so just have a play around with that okay so that should hopefully get you going with creating your own scriptbooks